In this next technique, we're going to learn how to contour the body, but instead of using the dodge and burn tool, we're going to be using curves. The first thing we're going to work on is the shadows. So what I do is I come down to adjustment layers, come to curves, and with all RGB channels selected, all I'm going to do is grab my black point and drag it into the right. So the whole image becomes a little darker. Say to about there. Now I invert my curves mask and turn it black by hitting Command I. Now what we're going to do is gradually paint in those curves. So B for my brush tool. I'm going to bring my opacity right down to, let's say, 30%, so I'll hit the 3 key. And I'm going to zoom in on Rebecca's face, for starters. First thing, I'm going to accentuate her cheek, the shadows underneath her cheekbones. So I'm just going to run the brush gently over underneath the cheekbones there, maybe on the side of her nose where the shadow is, and underneath and along the side, the neck, side of the neck there. If we like, we can also do it on the inside of the hair here, just to sort of accentuate the shadows along, along there as well. A quick before and after, before and after. So I'm going to pan out now, Command minus, and we'll start working on some of the other parts of the body. So I'm going to start off with the inside of the hip here. Run the brush on the inside there. And you'll see that the only areas that I'm running the brush over are just those areas which are already a little darker. So all I'm really doing is accentuating these shadows. Down to the legs. Just following these darker areas here in the shadows on the outside of the hip, on the outside of the calf, and in this shadow area on the inside of the uh, calves here. Command zero to fit to window. A quick before and after, before and after. Now I've been very gentle with this so far because I don't want to go overboard, but the effect will be a little bit more dynamic once we start accentuating the highlights now. For this we come down to adjustment layers, select curves again, and instead of dragging our black point in, we're going to drag our white point in. So we come up here to the top right hand corner and we're going to drag it to the left making sure that we don't go too far because we don't want those very light areas to become blown out. Same as before, Command-I to invert that mask. I'm going to zoom in on the face. And now I'm going to be even more gentle, so I'm going to reduce my opacity right down to, say, 10%, so I'll hit the 1 key. And I'm going to highlight these cheekbones to start off with. Top of the nose. A quick before and after before and after. Pan out, command minus, and we'll start working on the rest of the body. On the top of the shoulder, the center of the arm, other arm, just running over those, those, lighter, those areas which are already a little lighter. Just the top of the cleavage here, just to sort of accentuate that a little bit along the side of the hip and some of the uh, stomach muscles down to the legs even the top of the feet. Command zero to fit to window. So now I'm going to switch both these layers off and we'll see what we've done. Before and after. Now I've been very subtle here. I could have pushed this image a lot further or at least a little further. However, it's up to you guys how far you'd like to push it. And so that's how you can accentuate and contour the face and body using your curves.